Hey guys, it's Pondo checking in once again from the Garage Gym. Today is April 16th, it's 2015, and I wanted to give you guys another product review. The product in question today is uh, going to be the Rogue Fitness Monster Landmine. Um, I know Rogue Fitness sells a lot of different uh, forms of landmine. They have a portable version and uh, a different version where it's... Uh, it's like a double landmine. There's a lot of iterations of it. I know uh, Soranex sells one. I believe Soranex might be one of the first uh, companies to produce the landmine, and their landmine is excellent. Um, the ones that I've tried. Um, the landmine obviously comes with a lot of different gadgets, a lot of different handles, and uh, what I have today is a, a version where it attaches to the rack. It saves a lot of space, and it's very, very stable. Um, the, the landmine itself, it's uh, about $118. I believe it's a lot cheaper with the Infinity and the Monster Light version, just because of the hardware. The hardware on this one is it's it's compatible with the Monster line. the The steel itself is about seven gauge, so it's super heavy, super stout. Um, definitely can handle more than you can throw at it. Probably will last longer than even the barbell that you place inside the tube. Also, the uh, it's about ten inches long in the business end, and it generally does stay out of the way when if you're not using it, you don't really notice it. It looks pretty badass. The powder coating is spot on. Um, haven't really had an issue with it in the last uh, six months that I've had it. A um, little bit of history with the landmine is that um, I believe that it was the first recorded use of angled barbell training. It was done in the uh, 1940s, 1930s, I believe. Uh, somewhere around Russia, uh, athletes um, back in the day would basically put a barbell in a shoe and uh, shove it up against a corner and do you know all kinds of movements with it basically the same movements that you'll see me doing today if not more um, keep in mind that I'm not a coach I'm not a professional athlete not a, neither am I a physician or chiropractor um, and I will not say that I'm the best person uh, to uh, teach you guys how to use the landmine training when it comes to training for the landmine I just kind of grab the bar and go um, kind of whatever I feel like it uh, I go with my instincts I don't really have a set plan on what to do when I do landmine training that's the that's the thing I like about landmine training the most it's that it's so versatile that you can just grab the landmine um, and and go and basically just uh, feel it out feel what you feel feel what you want to do uh, feel what you need to do and just go uh, when I grab the landmine there's really no set reps no set weight um, definitely no set workout. I just wanted to, you know, get my muscles moving, train my body in all three planes, you know, um, transverse, uh, horizontal, um, and, and everything like that in anti-rotational, uh, core training. What that means is that you're basically able to train every part of your body, uh, whether it be your core, your arms, your legs, in all three planes of motion, uh, whether it be in controlled or explosive. And it's really, really good for um, athletic-based, sports-based performance. Um, the landmine training is really good for athletes of all sports. Um, it'll benefit, you know, wrestlers. It'll benefit MMA fighters. It'll benefit um, golfers even. So, so the the landmine, you know, for the price that you pay, it's extremely uh, versatile. It's definitely the most bang for your buck, I think, in the gym setting. Um, Heck, I might even go as far to say that it's probably even more versatile than dumbbells. The fact that you're able to load the bar with as much weight uh, as you, or as little weight as you want and uh, train with as, as fast or as slow as controlled as you want uh, and safely, uh, very, very safely, I think. And also the fact that you don't necessarily load your joints the way you would generally do with a barbell, with a dumbbell or any other type of, of workout. The, the movements, you, I always kind of keep fluid. Um, you know, it's definitely very natural. It's a de definitely a very natural movement for me. It trains the joints in, uh, in the full range of motion. Um, also, the benefits of landmine, you know, go far beyond what I explain in this video alone. There's a lot of resources online, a lot of much more uh, reputable resources for you to, uh, to, to look into. Anyways, um, basically that's my review. It's a great piece of equipment. Nothing you don't really need that much equipment when training with it in this way. Um, all you need is a little bit of weight, and uh, definitely it doesn't really take that much time either. 
it's a uh, it's a wonderful piece of equipment all right guys that's my review if you have any comments or questions and uh, oh please don't bash my form i understand that my form isn't really the best here so please understand and uh, please hit that like button please hit that comment bu button if you have any recommendations or questions and uh, i'll see you guys next time all right guys lift something heavy peace out